hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to March's wrap up. This video will be both my wrap up for how to kill a kit with style for March, as well as just my general layout share for the month of March. I keep wanting to say January for some reason. I have no idea why. So if somewhere along the line I say January, you'll you'll know why. I don't know why. Because, I mean, the weather is quite spring-like, so that's not the reason. I don't know. Maybe I just want to start the year over again, <laughs> like probably a lot of us. So I'm quite happy with what I got done in March. I have 14 layouts to share with you here, but I actually got um, closer to 20, maybe even 21, but um, a few of those layouts will only be up um, on my channel starting tomorrow because um, the 30 Days Christie's, Christie's from Christie's Beautiful Life, her 30 Days of Sketches Series 5 starts tomorrow and I am playing along with a couple of other um, scrappy friends. So you'll see some of those then. And therefore my how to kill a kit with style was also used in some of those. But so here are my layouts. Every single one has a video, so I won't spend much time. Just give you a little bit of a recap. This is not using, this was using my, uh, baby Diego album kit from the secret, not secret kit club. This was for the mercy tiara 27 day uh, the Winter Series, our YouTube hop, um, on the 19th of March. This uses a few items, but this was for the Stamp With Me um, collaboration at Hotel Cornwall. And this was that crazy, messy background um, that I did with a lot of stamping here. Um, it's growing on me. It's growing on me, people. I think I'm going to like it. This uh, was for a Grab 5 challenge in the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. And, and this doesn't really use it either. This uses more my Home um, home Again uh, collection. And it was also one of our Sketch Sundays. This does not use um, the kit either. This was for my Chamel's. Sketches Reimagined, my guest spot on Sarah's Lovely series. And I go a little bit more. And this is where I finally got that dark room door star stamp used. So I love that. And I used some uh, gorgeous Chanel uh, Head in the Clouds. I think I might have said field trip in the video, but it's actually Head in the Clouds. Now here we're starting on um, how to kill a kit with style. If you know, in February, I didn't have great success. So in March, I added, I kept the kit and then revamped it with tons of little extra colorful bits. And so I prepared this light layout with it. Um, of course, I did got here my background. So I have this, this was one of the, the 12 by 12s I added, chipboard that I added and some of the six by six paper uh, that I added as well. And I did this for, uh, for the love of crafting and sharing. And also it doubles, it's a sketch for one of the Mercy Tiara 27 day winter series challenges. Then this one, this I am showing you because it went up on my channel in March, but I did, actually do it in February, which is where I got the idea to add all these colorful bits to, to my kit. And I did this for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club uh, focus day for Christina Day on the 9th of March. Then this I did for one of my Sketch Sundays and a fairly recent Sketch Sunday where Sandy, State Goddess, was a guest and she had chosen the sketch and this I went back and I used my How to Kill a Kit with Style in its original form without all the colorful bits added. And I love it. I love I love the stitching and the sort of burlap, which is one of the lovely Spiegelmann scraps um, kits. So I this is turning into one of my favorites of the month for sure. There you go. This is also... Um, 
for um, a sketch Sunday. And this uses my How to Kill a Kit with style with some of a lot of the colorful bits added. I used a, a lot of the, I, I added almost a whole set of six by six paper from one of these scrapbooking cards today, samplers. And I used a lot of it on here. This is from the sampler kit as well. These lovely little die cuts, um, some washi. I got some of the washi from the kit used. Now this, oh yeah, now you see this uses, let me get that layout back again. Now, when I cut this pattern paper to add these diagonal strips, I was left with um, this odd shaped uh, piece of paper and I just used it as is. And in the end, I am so proud of this. This was for my uh, Christmas in, in March. Um, collaboration and in the end I just love this so I just added a few little paper strips it was perfect little place here to put the photos I'm sorry if it's a bit dark I'm recording this on Sunday uh, Sunday March 29th and it's a very very dreary rainy day today so this might be a little bit dark I'm sorry about this but need to get this one up this one I love as well um, this one I used a pin, although it's not for my off the board, but I did use uh, a pin anyway for it that some of my viewers, some of you lovely subbies had asked me to use. And this is one of the um, crafting at a distance challenges on Rediscover Your Stash, as well as the Scrap 5 challenge and the five items this month were chosen by Kelsey. So some vellum, which also goes with the product focus and rediscover your stash, uh, doily, stitching, hand journaling, and Nouveau drops. And I did use Nouveau drops. You could use enamel dots as well. And it was for Susanna's Topsy Turvy challenge. And we had to talk a little bit about COVID-19 and how it was affecting us and have one item on our layout upside down. And this flare every day has a story. So I thought that was perfect to put upside down in this context. This one is also for, um, this, this was my off the board. This was my off the board for March and I'm scrap lifting my lovely friend, uh, Crystal. Uh, from Pineapple Papers, who's my partner in Scrap on the Sketch Sundays, who is the instigator and brain behind the Off the Board series. So I scrap lifted her, used my How to Kill a Kit, of course, with style, and this also doubled as a Crafting at a Distance uh, challenge. It was Christina's challenge of love, uh, long distance love. And this is the story, bit of a tongue in cheek one, of Skyping with Puppy Oliver. This might be my favorite layout of the entire month. Um, specialty paper, which is the Rediscover Your Stash. It was for the Sketch Sunday. Uh, not just this past Sunday, but the prior Sunday. Our sketch was chosen by Amber, uh, who joined us. Amber, who is Crystal's bestie. She chose our sketch. And she joined us over on Instagram. And I just love this. Look at all these. So basically, I just used the paper as it was. And tons and tons and tons of sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. In particular, the Foxy Roxy um, set. And then this one you will have seen on my challenge on my channel just this past weekend. It was my Sketch Sunday where um, our, our last one as we take a month pause on this series as it stands because we are moving in tomorrow to 30 Days of Sketches Series 5. So those are all my layouts um, for March and there are 10 of them um, here or nine of them at least that were with my how to kill a kit my revamped how to kill a kit with style and i have a few more in the april series coming up so all in all i am thrilled i still have a lot left because of course by the time i added all these papers it made a very 
big kit. So I won't go over everything, but just quickly, if you recall, I think I had added about 15 six by six. I have three left. The Vicky Booten, which I talked to you about in my freeze Friday, this six by eight was full. Uh, I've used at least two thirds of not more. Used quite a bit of the stickers. Um, this will just, this one is going to go uh, into my April How to Kill a Kit. And I think I'm going to go add this lovely scrap into it as well. You will see that kit tomorrow. A couple of other little scraps. And then in the six by six, oh, there you go. See, I have one piece of scrap left. I also have this six by six, which I did use, uh, but I have quite a bit left. Black and white is always, always good. So I'm just going to keep this on my desk and have it um, at the ready one time when I want to use that awesome pop of black and white. This I added quite late in because I really wanted to use it. I used it on a layout, so I added it quite late. So I still have quite a bit of that left. It goes back in my stash. I did use quite a bit of the enamel drops, <coughs> excuse me, and a full pack, or at least I finished this pack from your next stamp. Chipboard still have, but I did use this. I added just at the very last minute when I was talking about all those stickers that I have. So this is going to move over into my April as well, because April is going to be a lot more colorful, but there is room for black. A few little scraps that I still have, um, that I still have left over, um, that I didn't use, but all in all, not so bad. And I still do have a fair amount of the original um, papers left. I, I don't know, because I used so much of it, but I did use a lot of cardstock backgrounds, didn't I? So, keep these going, and I still do have, here's a gray doily. Oh, you see, now that's going to fit, that's going to fit perfectly into April's kit. As are these lovely Vicky Wooten, they're going to fit perfectly as well. And I've actually pre-recorded this one. I recorded my um, April kit share yesterday. And you'll see that in there I say, oh, I need to go find a larger set of thickers. So here they are. That will go there. Um, some washi tape. Oh, this didn't use. Gonna use. And I did use some of the some of the other washi tape. And then I just have a few little bits and bobs left here and scraps of a few paper. Oh, I do have more of that. Oh, see, this was one of the other um, scra uh, samplers that I used. So I used one of them, but I still have quite a bit of this one left. So I'm going to go through that and see what I can add to the April kit. And I'll come back and talk to you about that. So all in all, I am quite happy with what I got done in March, although it does look like here that I have a lot left. I do. It turned into a massive kit, but I'm happy. I think I got 15 plus layouts done with this kit this month. So I am calling that a win. What do you guys think? Pop on down below. Um, go and see the monthly wrap-ups from a lot of my How to Kill a Kit with Style Friends. I'll put all of the links below. Some do a wrap-up today and then share their new kit tomorrow. Some will do only tomorrow and they'll do everything in the same one. Um, some will be a day later or so. In these circumstances, we all have a lot, a lot going on. But <clears throat> all the links will be below pop on over and see what everybody was out to and tell me did you was there a favorite layout um of mine in march that you saw is there a layout that you would like to scrap lift that would be fun want to scrap lift one of those layouts um post it scrap lift one of those layouts post it on um Facebook or Instagram, tag me or use the tag Mo, uh, scrap lifting Mo or something like that, just for the fun of it, just to give us an extra little bit of inspiration throughout the month. Or you could scrap lift, if you go back to the videos, you'll see that um, 
for the Topsy Turvy Challenge, I scrap lifted my friend Sarah. Off the board, I scrap lifted um, Crystal. For the um, Christina Focus Day, I scrap lifted Christina's style as opposed to a very specific layout, but I did use a sketch. So why don't we do that? That would be fun. Uh, or just tag me if you do a video, link me to the video. That would be fun. And I will see you here tomorrow with April's Kit Share. Talk to you soon. Bye.